Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank and today I am checking out the Fujinon MK50-135 E-mount 4K zoom. This is a, a cinema style zoom so it's fully manual for focus, iris, and zoom. Uh, it shares uh, many of the same characteristics as its companion lens, the 18 to 55. You might remember I did a blog on that prior to NAB 2017, showed you some of the mechanics of it, and the functionality. Then Matt Porwell shot a really nice video uh, in New York showing you the lens from a cinematographer's point of view. Well, here we now have the companion, the 50 to 135. And if you've used the 18 to 55, if you're familiar with that lens, uh, the transition to this one is seamless. Uh, the same feature sets are included. Namely, it has a 4K capability. In other words, the folk, it handles 4K side to side. It's a par focal lens. It will maintain its focus through the entire zoom range and it also maintains its T2.9 stop through the entire zoom range as well. So really uh, nice feature sets built into this longer uh, focal length lens. It also shares some interesting characteristics uh, that we would associate with ENG lenses. Namely, it has a back focus, meaning that we can uh, very quickly uh, set up the lens, test it, and make sure that the focus is correct all the way through the range. Very simple and fast thing to do, but it's something we always did on ENG lenses, but didn't carry over to city cell lenses until now. And with that also came the capability of macro focus. So being able to engage a macro focus on the lens, very nice. We can physically move the lens closer to a subject. We don't need extra filters in our kit. Uh, if we need to get something close up, really close up, uh, really simple. We just engage the, the macro focus and we got the shot. So it makes it very fast and easy to work with this lens. I want to show you the physical build. I'll go to a close-up on the lens for that. And then I took it over into the rental bay and I want to show you some of the tests. The same tests I did on the 18-55 I did on this. We'll see how the lens performs. And lastly, I shot some footage and I shot that in log. I'm going to put it through Dissolve and then output it and I'll put it on the end of the blog. All right, so taking a look at this lens at close up, uh, again, it looks very similar to the 18 to 55. We have the 32 pitch gears on our focus, our zoom, and our iris. So we can hook up uh, a follow focus and be able to do cinematic type shots. And also, we have uh, the gear on the iris and on the zoom. So if we want to hook up a wireless system, uh, no problem. On the back here, you notice this little knob right here. This is the tie down for the uh, back focus control. So once we start the back focus control uh, procedure, we'll just simply unlock this. And essentially what happens is you wanna have the lens all the way open. You wanna zoom in on something at a distance, get focus on it, and then zoom out to the widest focal length and recheck that fo focus. And then uh, by moving this back and forth, you change that uh, focus at the wide end. Once it's nice and sharp, tie it down, zoom back in, make sure it looks good and sharp at telephoto again, and now you got your back focus. So it's important to do it all the way open. And as I said, uh, it's a T29 lens and it maintains that T2.9 through the entire zoom range. If I want to do the macro focus, I have a switch right here, simply push in on this, and now I can activate the macro focus and get uh, close-up shots uh, that I couldn't with the normal focus range because this lens focuses to uh, closest focus in our normal setup is four feet. Looking at the front element here, you'll notice it has a thread on the inside. That is to uh, accommodate 82 millimeter thread in filters. Of course, we could always uh, put a matte box or a sunshade on the outer diameter of this lens and have uh, more extensive filtration options. The weight on this lens, by the way, is just around two pounds. Let's head over to the rental bays and check out the performance of the lens using an Able City resolution chart. I have set the lens up on my camera with a follow focus. It's out of focus for uh, a reason. One of the things I want to check on the LCD screen here of my uh, FS5 is I want to see if the physical angle of view or the size of the picture changes as I change focus. I'm going to roll through on my follow focus here. Now pay attention to the circle with the colors. Notice that it stays the exact same size 
as I focus through. Now this is a really great feature of this lens because a lot of lenses, when I go from minimum focus to infinity, you're gonna see a physical change in the size of the frame or what we call the angle of view. And that's referred to as breathing. But as you can see here, as I roll through the uh, focus range on this, it doesn't change. So there is close to absolutely no breathing on this lens whatsoever. Because the 50 to 135 has 32 pitch gears on it, uh, it means that I can attach set of accessories. So what I've done is I've attached a motor as part of a system known as a microforce. And with a handset, I'm going to zoom out uh, with the zoom motor at a, a predictable rate. And what I'm looking for here is I've got these white crosshairs in the LCD of my FS5, and right behind them on the Able City resolution chart, uh, there's a black crosshair in the center there. So I'm going to start zooming out here. And what I will be looking for is uh, to see how well the white crosshair tracks with the black crosshair. If everything is tracking properly, there shouldn't be any type of shift. In other words, they should stay overlaid uh, on top of one another without any movement side to side, up and down. As you can see, they stay in place. So what this means is with this lens, you can be assured that as you're doing critical zooms, you won't see any image shift caused by the movement of the optics in the lens. That concludes my look at the Fujinon MK50-135 to Cine Zoom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.